Ah, video games, how I've enjoyed defending the countless hours sunk into all manner and flavour of genre that you offer. And that task has become increasingly easy with the evolution of graphics, mechanics and storytelling to the point where there are moments where we dare actually utter the word, art. Yes, it's possible to really become attached to characters now, and the emotional feels of witnessing something truly epic and unexpected is a joy to behold. Spoiler alert! This is Seb from WhatCulture.com, and this is the 10 most mind-blowing video game plot twists since 2000. Number 10. Realising what the name means, Bioshock Infinite. The first entry in the list from Bioshock deals with the often messy and infinitely confusing multiverse theory. In Infinite, when you finally destroy the siphon and Elizabeth's power is unlocked, turning her into an all-seeing, omnipotent time traveller, you learn one hard and fast fact. There is always a man, and there's always a city. And there's always a lighthouse. AKA, get ready for some hardcore brain racking. Not only is your infinite self the villain, but you're also one of an infinite number of parallel universes that have all followed slightly different paths. And when you start to add one and one together and realize the connection this now forges between the key characters and the world from the previous titles, you see the lovely bow Ken Levine has managed to tie around his creation. Number nine, Joker dies, Batman Arkham City. Sometimes, even when we can see it coming, a shocking moment can still hold considerable punch. And that punch is even more spine-breaking when we literally have no idea it was coming. And that rang true in Arkham City when we witnessed the death of the Joker. We all know Batman's MO is never really to kill, as he instead prefers to severely incapacitate his foes and then let them be judged by the law. So, watching Joker succumb to poison with his trademark twisted smile after ambushing a valiant Batman who actually had the cure in hand, was not only strangely sad, but also one of the most unexpected and incredible twists in this age-old clash. Number 8. Wheatley's Betrayal, Portal 2 not all twists end up in a human we've grown to care for being wiped out or obliterated in some cruelly ironic way, and Portal 2 demonstrates that we can have nuance, character and a sprinkling of comedy with them. When you end up facing off against what you believe is the final boss in GLaDOS, you've spent any number of hours with the charming and humorous Wheatley, voiced by Stephen Merchant. He does a stellar job of giving Wheatley the lovable, bumbling sidekick feel, so it's altogether surprising and funny when he finally usurps her and the power gets to his head, resulting in a friend vs friend battle finale. Do you know what I'd say? Hi, space. I'd say, I'm sorry. Number 7. Reznov isn't real. Call of Duty, Black Ops. Many remember the first Black Ops as a promising step into an interesting direction for COD as its focus on the dark arts, mental manipulation and excellent story really stood out from… well… the rest. The game went so in depth messing with players minds and touching on aspects of MK Ultra mind control was a controversial but subtle nod to true American history. Finding out Mr Reznov was in fact a figment of imagination and the acts he committed were in fact all you was a jaw dropper moment for most. Although some gamers claim it was pretty obvious, it is testament to the quality of the storytelling that this moment actually made it into the world records book for the most shocking twist of 2012. Yes, that is actually true. Or is it? Yep, it is true. Number 6. Who is Desmond? Assassin's Creed 2. The Assassin's Creed series divides opinions on many fronts and is very much like a boxer. The first few rounds they came out swinging with creativity and power punches, but as the rounds go on, some of that magic from the early stages is just slightly diminished. For example, the whole Animus storyline started out very intriguing and was a curious extra layer to the core game that had some real promise, but ultimately evolved into an annoying side task that periodically sucked you away from the real fun. Back when it was still fresh though, the moment the hundreds of fan theories were all confirmed true with the Minerva twist was extremely gratifying. The developers had managed to keep players guessing for a very long time, so this reveal, whilst not particularly causing anyone to weep, was definitely a jaw-dropping moment and that timeless final phrase echoed the thoughts of every single person playing. What the f Number 5. Auron is an unsent. Final Fantasy X. Until 15 arrives, many gamers, PC and console alike, will happily gorge themselves in the last truly epic game worthy of the Final Fantasy title. Number 10. There is a moment where your party decides to enter the Far Plane, a place where the living can talk to the souls of their deceased loved ones. But Auron declines to enter and gives some excuse about not needing to see his past. At the time, you would be hard pressed to suspect anything suspicious, as it's rather in keeping with his character. 
The moment Yuna begins her sending ritual and the rest of your party find out Oren is disappearing will send shivers down any Final Fantasy fans back. But typical Oren, he goes out like a badass, blade out and all. This is your world now. Number 4. You are become death. Shadow of the Colossus. One of the most divisive and painful techniques developed in the storytelling of games and often delivered right at the finale was the haha, turns out you just did all the dirty work for the evil one. So if brutally and mercilessly slaying rare giant mythical beasts wasn't already enough of a moral dilemma, Shadow of the Colossus delivers a beautifully twisted ending when revealing the spirit you've been praying to and taking advice from for the entirety of the game is actually pure evil and briefly snatches your body turning you into a devil child. Although your partner is resurrected as he promised, you got quite the raw end of the bargain here. The developers deserve great acclaim for how they handled the game, and this was one of the earliest ones that prompted the debate, are games art? Number 3. Joel's Lie, The Last of Us Probably still to this day the most polished, complete and compelling storytelling in any video game ever, the final reveal that Joel is actually the bad guy creates another huge moral dilemma in players that forces you to question your own morality. Would you sacrifice thousands of innocent people you don't know to save the life of one that you love? Well, Joel did very willingly, and in the process executed several key people, including Marlene, who helped you throughout the game. He then drives off with a passed out Ellie in the back seat, and when she regains consciousness, he lies and tells her the whole cure idea was a hoax and that it wouldn't have worked anyway. Number 2. Origami Killer Revealed Heavy Rain Developer Quantic Dream really created a beautiful and engaging game in Heavy Rain with a rich, powerful and immersive soundtrack, great graphics and a compelling and mysterious story to boot. One minute you may be playing as FBI agent Norman Jaden, and next the doting dad Ethan Mars hunting for his lost child. If you managed to stay spoiler free before completing the game yourself, you would have been absolutely dumbfounded to find out that Origami Killer, who you've been hunting for the entire game, was in fact Scott Shelby, a character we up until that point believed had the most humble intentions. Finally finishing him off and retrieving your son felt even sweeter after finding out how close you were to failure. Number 1. Would you kindly Bioshock? In its inception, gaming was extremely linear, and even now in many games, we're essentially funneled down a path with our characters' motivations simple and plainly in sight. But why does Mario want coins? Why do orcs raid dark caves to find rare weapons? Why, in Bioshock's case, do we trust and listen to the voice telling us where to go? When we learn at the end of the game that we've been programmed from birth to respond to this phrase, it puts every action you've completed into perspective and is quite a stark reflection on reality. The villain Andrew Ryan then uses your mental trigger to command you to beat him to death with a golf club. And this is all done in first person, making this final scene even more gripping and bone chilling. Now, would you kindly leave a comment below? Would you kindly like, share and subscribe? And would you kindly tweet me on Twitter? This has been Seb from WhatCulture.com. See you next time.